Good morning or annyeonghaseyo um, because we're in Seoul, South Korea. My name is Katie Claire and I will be doing today's takeover. Yes, okay, so my plan this morning is um, to take you to the gym that I go to, show you a little bit around the neighborhood on the way there, um, come back, stop at a cafe to kind of show you some coffee options and uh, take you to work and show a little bit about what I do there. Uh, there has been a lot of rain and flooding in Korea the last few days, so I don't know about my after work plans. I might just come home to answer questions, but if possible, I want to take you guys outside and uh, take you to dinner. Yes, we'll see how much I can do of this, but uh, I will leave a little description about in depth some of the things that I do so you guys can start asking questions about that. And um, yes, very excited. All right. Okay, um, this is my gym. It's pretty nice. Um, locker rooms. There's more over here. Like this. What kind of job do I have? How did I find this job? And how long did the paperwork take to complete? Uh, I work in a hog one. I work in the private sector, so I have um, the pay is a little bit more competitive. I have mostly after school students along with kindergarten students. Um, what else? My friend helped me find this job from university. Uh, I did not use a recruiter, but I know that recruiters, um, there are a lot of great recruiting sites, and most of my coworkers use recruiters. Um, what else? The paperwork was pre corona. And I want to say it took about three months to get the apostolizations done, notary, um, background check, and uh, getting the stamp from the embassy and um, sending the documents to my employer back in Korea from the States. All of that took about three months to complete. This is the convenience store. They have these like on almost every corner in Seoul. And for breakfast, I usually get one of these. And lunch looks like this. Not every contract has lunch time with students, so you should check yours and negotiate that if you'd like. Another reason to um, learn Hangul is to read the allergy information in case, in case someone has an allergy. Did you wash your hands? Okay, I made it to the coffee shop got a coffee. Uh, this costs 4500 in this neighborhood, but honestly, um, coffee can range from 2500 for an Americano to 6000 six, uh, 6, Yeah, 6000 or honestly sometimes a little bit more depending on where you go. Um, I'm going to make an infographic later about the neighborhoods and like different prices because I think that um, to make a, a good decision about where you'd like to be placed, you should kind of have a lifestyle in mind because each district is very different. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back to work. Another task we have is writing the progress reports. Um, this can be monthly or bi-monthly depending on the course and uh, it's divided into different parts depending on the course as well. So in this one, I have comments about the material that was taught and then the student's progress underneath. One of the things we do, we have a lunch song that the students will sing before they go to school go to um, wash their hands and eat lunch. Good morning songs, lineup chants, and all of this just really helps um, our students learn the routines. Main list, we decorate the windows. Um, the students have sticker boards that they can collect points to get gifts. So um, this is where the student management really helps. We have different books and some of the things that we teach, phonics. Uh, basic English phrases, punctuation skills. Uh, we have fun art projects like this week we learned about jellyfish and got to make a craft. We have writing, so this one is like a template writing book. We have a topic and then we fill out some graphic organizers. The kids have a section that they read.
Okay, we got dinner after all. Here's my friend, Fee. Say hello, Fee. Hello. She's been here for seven years. If you have any questions, she'll answer them too. We're getting <laughs> Mexican food in Korea. One of the best spots. I'll Okay, everyone, that's the end of my takeover. Um, I hope you enjoyed. There were a few questions about my living arrangements. Um, my school provided them. Uh, I did not have to put the deposit down. Deposits here for what I have, a one room villa, can be um, from 10 million won to 15 million won, uh, roughly 10,000 USD, 15,000 USD. Uh, I didn't have to do that, but if you find a contract that doesn't provide housing, and you're looking for other options, you should prepare for that. But as a first year teacher, there really shouldn't be, um, there's really no reason to go for a school that doesn't offer you housing. You should just pick one that has housing. It's much, much easier to um, come in and settle here. But um, yes, I pay utilities, I don't pay the rent. Uh, utilities cost about 58,000 at its cheapest. And then during the hottest months and coldest months, depending on heating and AC, 120,000 um, at the max. And let's see, um, to show you, I have a TV the school gave me, a bed. I have some luggages here, they usually go in that storage area, but it rained and there's no space. And um, let's see, I'm connected. I have a kitchen, I have a fridge, I have my desk, bathroom, mirror, yeah. It's not the biggest room, but honestly, um, for what I need, it's perfect. So yeah, uh, I hope that that helps you guys with um, envisioning your life here. And if you were on the fence about coming, convincing you to try. It's a great country. There's a lot of things you can do. There's never really a, bo a, a boring, dull moment. Um, yes. I will do my best to upload those infographics next and um, answer any questions that I can before um, calling it a night, but yes, hope you guys come, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me, and I will try to answer. Take care, and if you do, come see you soon.